Hello friends, in this video I will take a brief overview of the PHP programming language. PHP is a well known server side scripting language. PHP the acronym stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. It can be integrated with many of the popular database or RDBMS uh, you know products like MySQL, Oracle and others. PHP is one of the very first programming languages which can be embedded in an HTML source code. Then another advantage of PHP or the characteristic feature of PHP is that it is an open source language. Even though PHP is used in web applications, development of web applications, PHP also has a very small, a very uh, strong command line interface so that using PHP you can build very good desktop standalone applications. PHP is an object oriented language all the object oriented programming features are supported by PHP. One of the major advantages of PHP is that its syntax is similar to the C, C language. So therefore, it is easy for a newcomer to you know adapt or acquire the uh, syntax of PHP language because it is a, uh, it, it falls in C family of languages. PHP is you know supported by the Apache web server. In fact, PHP can be used along with many of the popular web server uh, softwares like IIS or others. PHP is a dynamically typed language so that unlike the C and C++ or even Java, the prior declaration of a variable is not necessary in PHP. So that is why it is called as a dynamically typed language. So it always helps to know a bit of history. So we will have a look at the history of development of the PHP language. The credit of you know developing PHP language goes to uh, Mr. Rasmus Lerdoff. He in 1994 came up with a set of CGI bindings uh, of uh, certain scripts that are written in C and he named them as personal home page tools. So that is how the name PHP came about. In 1996, he changed the nature of those PHP uh, personal home page tools, the, the CGI scripts to call it as PHP FI. FI stands for form integrator. So, it included a inbuilt support for many of the DB, RDBMS packages of that time, for example, DBM, MSQL and Postgres, etc. So, the PHP now had a feature of integrating an HTML form and connecting it with a backend database like all these. It also supported the use of cookies and user defined functions also. That was in 1996. Later on, PHP FI was given a version 2 status. PHP 3 came about and that is how the, or that is when the name PHP Hypertext P processor was given. Now, another two gentlemen, Ziv Suraski and Andy Gutmans, these two people have a very important role to play in the development of PHP. These two people, when they were you know working in an Ital uh, Israeli uh, uh, institute of uh, computer science. Then they came to know about this PHP and then they used uh, this PHP uh, to, for their own project actually. And then they came, about, came up with a Zend uh, engine which was an interpreter for the uh, PHP language. So Zend engine now has become the backbone of the entire PHP development. It, it uh, provides a very mature interface with multiple da databases that is why PHP has, is becoming popular day by day. Uh, protocols and APIs are also supported. The object oriented programming approach or support is a very important feature and a very 
consistent uh, you know, language, language syntax is also one of the important features of the PHP uh, 3.0. In May 2000, PHP 4.0 was developed and powered by the Z engine. It supports many of the web servers, as I said, including the Apache and IIS and uh, Nginx and etc. So its uh, application became wider and wider. PHP 5 was released in 2004. It is mainly driven by the Z engine 2.0, which was revised by uh, those two people with a new object model that was introduced at that particular time. PHP's team includes a dozen of, there are so many contributors to the PHP's uh, entire project. Uh, and uh, these two PR and PECL, these two uh, community libraries uh, are also, uh, you know, powering the different extensions that are add, going to be added or going, getting added into the repository of PHP's uh, extensions day by day. So that is how we have reached up to 2004. As recently as in December 2015, PHP 7 has been introduced. So if you see the, the series of events that uh, are there in the PHP development after three ver version 3, version 4, version 5, there version 6 never came about. And in December 2015, PHP 7.0 was released. Actually, it was originally named as PHP Next Generation or PHP NG. But then later on, it has been recognized as the PHP 7. What is there? What is new about it? It has a reworked Zend engine, which is called as Zend engine number 3. It has an improved performance. If you have a comparison later on, we have we are going to have one uh, you know particular session on the new features of PHP 7.0. Uh, it has a very improved performance, reduced memory usage, the scalar type declarations, the argument type declaration and return type declaration in PHP 7.0 is a marked change uh, in PHP 7.0. It has also a support for anonymous classes. So these are all the different new features that have been added into the PHP 7.0. So this was all about the history of development of PHP. In the next session, we shall see how the PHP uh, language or PHP setup is installed in your computer system.